I'm Brooks and I'm a shooting guard for the Boston Celtics. I'm here in Cleveland training with Carl Jacobson and Tape Training Systems. My name is Carl Jacobson, head strength coach at Tape Training Systems. Today we're going to be overviewing Marshawn Brooks' entire off-season programming. Uh, training experience has been great. Uh, great location, great gym, and you know, obviously a uh, great trainer in Carl. Um, a lot of basketball related type things, so uh, and, and Carl, I mean, the best thing about him is uh, he's understanding. Certain days, you can see it in my face, I didn't have, you know, the, the, the right energy level, and he just motivated me to just continue to get better every single day. I started working with Marshawn this summer when he was traded from Brooklyn to Boston. Basically, he came to me, wanted to achieve a variety of different goals for this upcoming offseason. My goals for the offseason were to, you know, just get stronger in general, but uh, I had a couple areas that I definitely wanted to get stronger at, and uh, I think I've done that, which is my core. Uh, my lower body strength, quads, all throughout my legs, and just getting more explosive on one leg. Uh, and, and so far, you know, I feel like I've taken great leaps in that, in that direction. Um, my personal goals of the season is to uh, be a starter uh, and just continue to get better, you know, just be more productive. Uh, you know, since I've been working out with Carl, I feel like I got a lot stronger. So. I should be, it should be a lot easier for me to, you know, finish around the rim and um, just make it through a whole season healthy and, you know, be able to shoot that three ball more consistently because I've been working so hard on my muscles and my body. So I just look forward to, like I said, just finishing around the rim and just having a good year. Uh, since I've been here in Cleveland, I feel like I, you know, uh, I'm putting the work and I'm seeing a lot of good results. Uh, a lot more athletic, uh, especially off one leg. Um, my core is strong. I'm seeing improvements in the weight room. It seems like I'm just so much more lighter on my feet. Uh, but the main, the main place where I'm seeing improvements is just my, uh, my one leg take off, my agility, uh, a quicker first step. This is by far one of my most productive all seasons. Uh, I feel like I got a lot better. And uh, many of my weaknesses, my strengths. Uh, putting a lot of work. And I'm just looking forward to it paying off in Boston. We broke the offseason into two main phases. The first phase being the hypertrophy phase. Um, when I met Marshawn, we definitely needed to add some size to his frame, and uh, we ended up doing that by adding about eight pounds to his body. And then our second phase, we focused more on the strength and power phase in terms of getting his core stronger, his legs stronger, as well as his upper body. Sue. With Marshawn's lower body training, we had a few different focuses. Um, first was to increase his flexibility and mobility through the ankle, knee, and hip joints. Second, we wanted to build a good strength base. And lastly, make it more explosive off one and two feet. One of the goals for the offseason was to make sure that Marshawn had enough upper body strength to be physical around the basket. We spent a great amount of time during the offseason to make sure his size and strength was increasing. We worked around his small limiting factor, which was actually Marshawn's wrist injury. We spent the first two weeks rehabbing his wrist to full strength before getting into heavy resistance training. Each day we did a few different complexes, starting with our main lifts, followed by our functional auxiliary exercises. One of the main focuses we had for Marshawn this offseason was building up his core strength. By increasing both core strength and stability, we were able to make Marshawn a more powerful and efficient athlete. With Marshawn's speed and agility training, um, we got really creative, yet we stayed very purposeful. We custom tailored all the speed and agility work to his specific needs. The main areas we targeted was Marshawn's first step quickness, single leg explosiveness, and also his lateral acceleration. Eight, nine, ten, drive, come on. 
The entire game of basketball is very reactive in nature. So we incorporated tennis balls and different vocal reaction cues to help improve Marshawn's reaction time. Over the off season, we got really aggressive with Marshawn's metabolic conditioning. The majority of our metabolic conditioning consisted of a variety of anaerobic work. Uh, again, we used a wide variety of methods including hill sprints, a sprints in the sand, and we used a weighted sled as well as on-court metabolic complexes. Throughout the entire off season, we progressed Marshawn with different reps, sets, and recovery rates, making sure he was tapping into the same energy systems in the workouts that he would be during the game. Pick up and go, pick up and go, quick, quick, quick feet, quick feet. With such an intense training program, we wanted to make sure that we implemented a recovery workout every week. A lot of players today don't really realize how important recovery actually is. So at the end of every workout, we focused on soft tissue work, as well as flexibility and joint mobility. The last session of each week consisted of a recovery workout. We utilized the pool to help Marshawn's muscles recover and prepare him for the next week of workouts. Before starting our program with Marshawn, we put him through our standard testing protocol, which consists of a series of strength, agility, and endurance tests. In order to break down Marshawn's body, we also did a functional movement screen, which tests for flexibility, mobility, and strength of all the joints in the body to see how efficiently Marshawn's body can move. This test will also help us find the efficiency of specific movement patterns as well as muscle imbalances throughout Marshawn's body. The functional movement screen consists of seven different individually scored tests. Each one of these tests will analyze a specific area of the body. It helps us accomplish a few different things. Um, we got to see all of Marshawn's structural weaknesses. It also gives us a good idea in terms of what muscles we need to stretch, strengthen, and what joints need more mobility as well as stability. Overall, Marshawn made some tremendous improvements this offseason with his body and his performance. Marshawn ended up adding 8 pounds to his body while increasing his vertical jump and lateral quickness. We also successfully rehabbed his wrist while adding core strength and a good amount of upper body strength. Overall, these attributes will make him a lot more physical on the court and make it a lot easier to finish around the rim. If you want to get your game right, subscribe to Tate's Training System YouTube channel.